the thing I'm really looking forward to forward to the most like uh, so I'm re- I'll be expecting um, adventuring bringing back Robin from the dead and then most likely would kill he's most likely he will be hunting down Akron in his um, companion quest this is purely um, my speculation okay nothing is confirmed by the way nothing is confirmed um, and hopefully Firehead will have a bigger involvement in the story quest alright the stream is about to begin, so let's just jump right into it. This program is brought to you by the International Peace Corporation. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Yoink. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. Cheep. All right, today is the Astro Access birthday. Robin? Yoink. Yoink harder. Cheep, cheep. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is just happened to be um um Congress Ariel's um first anniversary. Right, trailer time, I guess. News flash: Panacone's Charmony Festival has entered its countdown phase. The singer Robin, famous throughout the cosmos, has announced in a recent press conference that she will release a new album. It's for Mikhail. Good heal. And for the future of Panacone. Come with me, everyone. Oh. Let's deal with these thugs Bye, first. Then we can talk about how to deal with you. They should get the good heal first. Okay. It's the cowboy right over here. Whoa, ready for what? Finally. Oh! You've arrived. Everything is ready. It's time to step on stage. Is that the real Robin? I'm, oh my gosh. The wings, though. Bro, oh, she looks pretty cool. Final hope. It's an earth. This is my home. Learn the essence of freedom and teach your fellow prisoners to fight for their lives. What? Like fireflies to a flame, my feet get dead. Wait, what is Dunhung and Jingyu and Lui over there? The stars will fade away. Oh boy. Is the end game for Panacone Arc? I might have to rewatch that the trailer one more time, but in Japanese version. That looks good though, but <laughs> that looks kind of good. And yes, I will answer expect later. Apparently, there's um, five five will have more involvement in this um, story quest because she has a lot. Of questions that needs to be answered, buddy. She has a lot. That is answers. Well, excuse me while I have my dinner. If you guys don't freaking mind, <laughs> my apologies. I'm hungry. Okay, shut up. I think I'll just paste my my yeah. Since I won't be using the, the keyboard. Cheep, 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 cheep. Me? <laughs> ah, thank you. As I was saying, good morning, good, morning, good afternoon, afternoon, and good, good evening. evening. Allow me to extend my sincere greetings to all our viewers. Welcome to the version 2.2 special program. Then, wake to weep. Long time no see, it. Albert. I heard hey, you had a nice one. vacation. Oh, and as a matter of fact, I did. The IPC one, one offers wonderful employee benefits. The, the well, female the chip, the angle on um, female chip, please, though. Damn. 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 Damn.
Let's do some introductions, shall we? Greetings, viewers. It's a pleasure to be here on the special program. I am Black Swan, a memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection. Oh, this time they Hello, introduce everyone. the same as the, the I'm characters. I'm Aventurine from the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Hi, guys. I'm Robin. So happy to see everyone here. A warm welcome to you. They're doing it the same as how the Japanese um, special Pink program Fowlers. for. Yes, there were a lot of interesting it? details in that trailer. <laughs> it's a pretty big lineup, isn't it? That dashing gunman at the beginning. Wonder what his deal is. Not to mention a certain brother and sister. I'm glad to see Sunday and Robin after everything that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> there was also a place that looked like an opera house. Is that where the Charmony Festival is being held? Uh, uh, maybe? <laughs> So many guests from so many places. What will the story bring us next? Mm, perhaps we'll gain some insights into today's program. Oh, <laughs> can't wait. Hold on, Albert. Who what? exactly is being referred to in the version 2.2 title? Then wake to weep. Then wake to weep. Doesn't sound like a version filled with sunshine and rainbows. Don't get too hasty now. Uh, after experiencing two versions of Pentecody. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody is eager to uncover the truth behind the sweet dream. Since Miss yeah, Akon this will be the final chapter the for Pinocchio Arc. And Clock Studios theme park, it's obvious things aren't quite as safe as the family made them out to be. <laughs> Did anyone really believe them in the first place? <laughs> no. Meanwhile, things seem to be heading in a more favorable direction for Mr. Aventurine. There's a secret within the family that goes deeper than any murder mystery. But with the clues because we I have believe before, Aventurine's objective right now is to save really Robin, if up, I remember correctly. Right? How do you mean, Miss Robin? For example, Firefly and I were attacked. But when we oh. came to our senses, we didn't have a single scratch. Oh, what okay. What happened exactly? Mm. There's no single you know, scratch? Dr. Ratio once told me that in a dream, it's not death that's impossible, but dormancy. Hmm. Dormancy? A thought provoking idea. So, and yeah, uh, Firefly and Robin really are we alive. Go decipher a secret passage in the invitation to the Charmony Festival. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Pentecody, and thus the answer to the question. Why does life slumber? So in other words, you need to enter an impossible dormancy mm -hmm. within a dream. Only then can you pull back the curtain and get closer to the Watchmaker's legacy. Huh. Dormancy within a dream. I wish that's where every dream is, is headed like in right now. A dream within a dream? I think there's another They're putting some inception right away here. Could it be referring to the other side of the dream? Just like Miss Acheron said at the end of version 2.1, Penacony, mm -hmm. the true land of the exiles. <laughs> oh, oh, on that note, perhaps we could uncover some clues in version 2.2's new map, Dream Flux Reef. Uh, so we're getting a new map, okay? Be? Hmm. Taking the name at face value, it's a reef that the dreamscape flows past. If the dreamscape can the new area later screams despair, though. Then it should be flowing downhill. Could there really be a deeper level to the dreamscape? Could there indeed? Trailblazers will have to discover the truth for themselves. Mm -hmm. All I can reveal is that entering this special domain will require ways and means. In version okay. 2.2's main storyline. The fool always, the fool rings, always twice. rings twice. Trailblazers will head to this new domain and reunite with some unexpected friends. And let's not forget, Firefly. the Charmony Festival has also entered the countdown phase. <laughs> oh, the yeah. curtain will soon rise before guests from across the cosmos. Uh, the Charmony yeah, Festival. For the family's Arc. guaranteed security has fallen to pieces. Still, they've done a good job keeping the truth under wraps. I'm curious to see what happens next. They say this Charmony Festival is set to be a grand spectacle and that a special talent show is gonna be held to build up the hype. 
The right. talent show, known as the Festivity Auditions, oh, is sponsored and by new area in and will take place at the moment of Scorch Sand. The moment of the moment of Scorch most festive moment. Guests partying all day long. Add in some malt flavored Soul Glad, and the atmosphere is second to none. Whew, that's right. This place was once devastated by the invasion of memes, but became the site of the festivity auditions after its reconstruction. The family holds these auditions here from time to time to select Pentaconi's next festive superstar. As you can see, it comes with all the bells and whistles, lighting, mm -hmm. stage, effects, you name it. We guarantee the most unforgettable experience for all contestants and audience members. In all version 2.2, right. Trailblazers will need to join the contest with their companions and earn the title of Festive Superstar. Oh, so you have to win the contest if you want to join the Charmony Festival? Ah, no pressure. The renowned galactic baseballer is the center of attention, no matter where they go. Right. So, how do the festivity auditions work, exactly? Pass all the audition stages and earn the superstar title for a chance to venture into the Charmony Festival's main venue, the Pentacony Grand Theater. That's right. Pentacony Grand Theater. The Grand Theater is Another the new most recognizable landmark. If you win That's the title of festive superstar, you can take center stage and join the family in kicking off the Charmony Festival. Right. <laughs> really? Does the winner get to perform on the same stage as you, Robin? What do you say, Miss Robin? Maybe. This might be the area Maybe. for the the final boss of Pentacony. So it might be. Trailblazers! I'll be there with you in spirit! <laughs> Don't mess it up now! <laughs> right. Another thing. In the scene we just saw, what were all those strange-looking characters in the theater? Watch who you're calling strange-looking! Those are official Charmony Festival personnel! <laughs> After all, the opening ceremony is just around the corner. There's okay. still a lot of preparation to do. Well, they're unique, I'll give them that. It seems like some of them are holding glasses, and others are carrying... knives? Those are violin balls. The right. members of the Sweet Dreams troupe, and they'll be playing an important role in the Charmony Festival. I see. They look a little on edge. Uh, perhaps they won the final of the auditions. Stage we'll fright is serious, you know. Wait, I, I thought the Trailblazer was supposed to win. <laughs> Director Adventurine, you're a sharp one, all right. Let's just say that anything is possible. <laughs> Next, let's introduce the leading roles who will feature at the Charmony Festival. Oh, Robin. Yep. This music's confirmed. Wait, you two to hear the one with lyrics. We have the singer Robin whose beauty and talent are known throughout the cosmos. I'm sure Miss Robin is no stranger to our viewers. Her gentle elegance as a singer has earned her countless fans from across the universe. No need to flatter me, Albert. I still have plenty to improve on. Oh, don't be so modest. And just so you know, Miss Robin, um, I'm a five fan. star. I've got so many collection vinyls. I don't know them. Okay. Whenever I'm up burning the midnight oil, your singing soothes my weary soul. The voice. Yeah, even hearing the music, man. A I appreciate the fanfare, Mr. Albert. But do you think the song, you though, you're overworking yourself? This oh, one sounds worry. like a banger. <laughs> the opportunity to see you here today is worth all the overtime in the world. You're certainly worthy of the limelight, Miss Robin. But I can't help but feel that you're a bird in a cage. Or perhaps I should say, someone who's ready to spread their wings. Are we all, Miss Black Swan? Sometimes every bird is trapped in a cage, yearning to fly Albert's free eyes and on. soar into the- All right, Owlbird, we get the idea. No, <laughs> back to business. <laughs> 
From the letter Miss Robin gave to Mr. Sunday, we oh. learned that during the preparations for the festival, she was the first to notice anomalies in Penacone and began to investigate the traitor in the family. In the process, oh. she suffered an accident and became a victim of death. But oh, she, she was doing her own investigation? has reunited with the trailblazer. I'm sure that death isn't the end of the story for her. Uh -huh. Secrets are sure to unfold in the 2.2 story. All right. Now, let's take a look at Miss Robin's battle credentials. <laughs> About right. time. Well, I'm a physical type character. Following the path of harmony, my technique allows me to create a dimension around myself. Dimension? The enemies within this dimension follow me without attacking. Oh. You're entering battle against enemies in the dimension. Interesting. I can also regenerate additional energy. Even okay. enemies are captivated by Miss Robin's star status. So she attracts enemies. <laughs> Forte is working in sync. And the fun team. and the fun part is that they don't attack her. Buffs to everyone. Well, that's a very interesting it's skill, technique. For example. Which enhances the total damage inflicted by her team. Okay. Or my talent, which allows me to regenerate additional energy whenever my allies attack enemies. And as huh. a cosmic songstress, Miss Robin also integrates her songs into combat. When using her ultimate, Miss mm -hmm. Robin belts out a morale boosting number and enters a performative state. It does the music. Allows all allies to immediately take action while also providing buffs. <laughs> Everyone immediately takes action again? Miss Robin is full of surprises. And how about that song? Now that's a tune I can fight. This one's a banger. <laughs> what can I say? I love lifting spirits. When my Gotta give credit to, to Chevy, you know, Chevy now. And of course, the Mohoyumi gang as well. Attack. This but one's a banger. <laughs> I'm immune to crowd control debuffs. There's no doubt. You fully embody the path of harmony. Miss Robin. Spreading harmony has always been my mission. Hmm. As a Halovian, I have the innate ability to transmit feelings and resonate energy through my halo, which aligns perfectly with my path. Okay, that's right. Song. Are there other ways to access it? I mean, we can't be asking you to go into battle every time we want to hear it. Oh, fact, good our question, is buddy. Also very curious about Miss Robin's other songs. If I can stop one heart from breaking. Oh, for that, that one song. Don't worry, don't worry. Miss Robin's upcoming album is right around the corner. She ah, took the opportunity okay. to put together a special video for her fans. Mm? Play the tape. Interesting. Very interesting. Hello, everyone. This is Robin. My new album, Inside, will be released on May 9th. I have three May songs 9th? to share with you this time. Okay. Life is filled with worries and sorrows, but I hope that while listening to my songs, you can let go of them for a while. Long time no see. I'm Sherval, so, uh... the lead singer of the Bellabogian band Mechanical Fever. Miss Robin's new album is about to be released. As a fellow musician, I really look forward to seeing what kind of tunes she'll be releasing this time. Finally, on behalf of all the Bellabogian fans, I'd like to ask, can you come to Bellabog for your tour? Really? <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Sunday. Representative of the family in Penacone. As a follower of the Harmony, Robin's powerful singing spreads harmonious melodies to all worlds. She is the family's pride and joy. I am delighted that her new album, Inside, will be officially released on May 9th. And as her older brother, I am very though? grateful for all the support that I'm Robin receives. Curious. Thank you. Tick-tock! I'm thrilled to be chosen as the fan representative to announce Robin's okay. new album! <laughs> Miss Robin's voice is the most beautiful in the universe! Mm, mm. Right. The sound of her voice is so empowering! Mm. Let's all make sure to show our support for her newest album! Mm. Mm. Hey, Gwaylings, check this out! No, even Gwayne Ivo is involved as well! This album will be released on May 9th. Little Gway is here to tell everyone that it'll definitely be amazing. You do not want to miss out. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe! Of course. What
What's up, everyone? Jake Miller here. I heard oh, Miss Robin's album is coming out soon, and I'm so excited for it. I know her songs always bring many surprises, so let's look forward to her album together, and I can't wait. See ya. Bye. Man! Well, it is interesting. ギンガの歌姫として何かアドバイスをとメッセージをいただいたんですけれどもいやいやいやもう私はアドバイスというよりはでもあのいつか歌姫同士なんかコラボができたら嬉しいなと思っておりますのでロビンさんぜひコラボ
A duel? I thought that only happened in the movies. Boot Hill prefers a straightforward approach to resolving conflicts. Okay. And this is reflected in his talent. Every time a dual target is defeated or their weakness is broken, Boot Hill gains a stackable enhancement. When okay. Boot Hill uses his ultimate, he inflicts physical weakness on the enemy, deals damage, and delays the target's action. Oh! A cinematic ultimate. De There's even a delay of the enemy on the wanted poster. My enemy movement Locking is onto the target and striking with precision. Such a dashing cowboy. Boot Hill's technique allows him to inflict physical weakness on the enemy the first time he uses his skill after entering combat. Okay. Is this the power of the Galaxy Ranger? This is the power of beating them at their own game. Triumphing in duels makes Boot Hill stronger, and annihilating enemies leads to an overpowering evolution. Problems are dispatched in no time. And by problems, you mean people who present problems, right? Eh, same difference. When you're on every other wanted list, you've got to get things done by hook or by crook. I see. So, being a cowboy and all, does Boot Hill order milk when he's at the bar? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Typical um, cowboy the trait. Cow part to literally, Miss Robin. <laughs> <laughs> malt juice is more his speed. But isn't malt juice bad for you? Well, the IPC's files suggest that Boot Hill is prone to augmenting his fighting skills with invasive mechanical upgrades. Oh. For someone that's 90% machine, I'd say malt juice is the least of his concerns. Moving swiftly on. Aside from the two characters we've already introduced, there's another special guest in version 2.2. One who's set to give a spectacular performance at the Charmony Festival. It's the one and only harmonious choir the great septimus the great septimus oh then i believe this is the new weekly bo um weekly boss or should i say the new echo of war boss uh you said they're also performing at the charmony festival Correct. Are we sure they're not aiming to sabotage the festival? <laughs> well, that depends on who you're teaming up with. Good thing mm -hmm. our trailblazer is an adaptable individual. To ensure this show goes off without a hitch, I brought along some detailed intel on Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus. Once okay. in battle, Harmonious Choir, the Great Septimus charges and unleashes semi-chorus which allows all of its active summons to inflict damage on a single ally okay in the second phase of battle after charging up i heard second phase must use his chorus dealing damage so to there's all at least two allies. phases plus all of the great septimus okay it's a three-phase boss fight extra damage to all allies it's a three-phase boss the fight phase, the great septimus casts a shield on themselves Decreasing the damage they take and boosting the damage they cause to all allies oh while making their own toughness impervious to damage. There isn't a third phase. Oh right? boy. In the third phase, third this phases. formidable foe becomes even stronger, unleashing defense ignoring attacks that deal with the ignoring damage attacks. To all allies. Oh dear. Oh nice. A challenging oh, adversary boy. indeed. This should be so. interesting. Are there any tricks we can use to defeat it? During battle, trailblazers need to quickly target and break the weaknesses of the Great Septimus and its summons. Once all the summons' okay. weaknesses are broken, the Great Septimus won't be able to use its semi chorus ability. And the In other words, aim for its minion first. Reduced. Okay. Breaking the Great Septimus' weakness will also grant a shared shield to all allies. Okay. Now that I think about it. This version's promotional artwork gave some pretty strong hints on all this. I see. It seems that this was meant to be the Charmony Festival's main act all along. Oh, poor trailblazers. Did you think you were coming to Panicone for a vacation? Is this what people mean when they say, rules are made to be broken? Oh. Huh. Why can't I see a baseball bat? There's no flaming lance either. 
Just a hat. <laughs> Just a hat, indeed. Yes, we have the day. We've only covered the basics. There's much more for Trailblazers to explore and get to grips with. After completing the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission, Echo mm -hmm. of War, Salutations of Ash and Dreams will become available. Yeah. Complete this challenge to obtain Boot Hill's advanced trace level up material. Okay. Lost Echo of the Shared it's for Boot Hill. Trailblazers in need of new materials should remember to save up on their weekly Echo of War rewards. And heads up, Trailblazers. What? Miss Robin's advanced trace level up material is past evils of the borehole planet disaster okay uh, make sure i'm, I'm already farming for this for akron Next anyway we have oh! banner information for version 2.2 in 2.2's first half warp event trailblazers can acquire Why? the limited five-star character oh robin God. as well as the limited five-star duo topaz and numbi oh not to mention gosh. the drop rates for the limited five-star light cone Glowing night glow and limited light. Glow I wanted the food for so fast. Will be boosted. But then again, this firefly though. Second half warp event. Oh, jeez. The limited five star character of Boot Hill. I really wanted to fast. Like no, I I I, I kid you not. I really wanted to fast, man. At the same time, the drop rates for oh, the limited five star geez. light cone sailing towards a second life. And the light cones. She Why did they have to be freaking too fast on the first half? Gosh dang. Looks like Boot Hill is in the middle of another mechanical upgrade. And it seems like he already shut his eyes too. <sighs> <sighs> and I oh. almost forgot to mention. Oh boy. <laughs> People are going crazy on that light cone. Because that Acheron dancing, Acheron with, dancing with Black Swan. Totally different this time. Yeah. What happened? Some memories are better left unexplored. <laughs> um. Time for a short break. In just a few moments, we'll be introducing version 2.2's brand new events. All right. And we're back. Welcome back, everyone. Time to dive straight into version 2.2's events. To kick things off, let me introduce Clocky. Dream Joy Memoir. Okay. As you may remember in the 2.1 storyline, the screen at Clock Studios theme park was split in two. To restore yeah. the park to its former glory, Trailblazers must take on the crucial task of repairing the screen. But oh dear. It wasn't the Trailblazers who broke the screen. And if I'm not mistaken, the screen wasn't the intended target, was it, Mr. Aventurine? <laughs> anyway. The Nameless yeah. should be congratulated on their admirable screen-fixing spirit. In the Clocky Dream Joy Memoir event, Trailblazers are tasked with directing uh, and editing films. Films okay. that do well in test screenings will increase the park's box office revenue and attract investment. This money will go towards fixing the screen that was damaged. Can we try filming the whole thing in a single shot? Miss Robin, I'm afraid not every actor is cut out for that approach. Oof. As a professional international peace media host, I'm of the opinion that skillful editing can enhance a film's pace and emotional impact. In this artistic undertaking, the key to editing is the effective use of the time dice. By okay. allocating the time dice to different scenes, it will bring about changes in the audience's emotional responses. Thrilling, comedic, or dramatic. Each film must achieve certain key objectives to pass the internal screen. Okay. As they gain more recognition, Trailblazers will also have the opportunity to create commercials. Okay. Plus, they'll have the chance to explore the spin-off stories of supporting characters. <laughs> exactly. Successfully editing a classic ending grants you side character spin-off reels, thereby revealing their corresponding extra stories. From mixology to directing, the Trailblazers have once again unlocked new skills in Penacony. But isn't this more like editing than directing? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> During the editing process, Trailblazers have the chance to experiment with different plot directions and might end up with an ending that's completely different from the original storyline. Great stories often originate from notable historic events. You could even regard movies as a type of visual memory. Weaving together threads of memories to create one complete tale. It's quite impressive. 
Agreed. And after finishing Boston, the specified missions, journey? Trailblazers Who's in will be rewarded Who's with the event light cone for tomorrow's journey. Ah, it looks like a story that took place at some point on the express. Okay. Pom pom. Yeah, I see pom pom. Hosting and celebrating with nameless of the past. Yesterday's oh, memories still of the past. linger. Okay. And while the conductor's companions may have changed, the trailblaze never ceases. Moving on, let's delve into the domain. The legend of the, of the galactic, galactic baseball. baseball. Funded by Giovanni, the legend of the galactic baseballer is set to undergo by Giovanni. an exciting round of testing in version 2.2. Ah, the same Giovanni from Ethereum Wars. That's right. Oh. After the success of Ethereum Wars, Giovanni has decided to sponsor our brand new game project in okay. Pentagon. It is this should be deep just deep within the vast cosmos. The strongest baseball bat lies hidden. To find this, is this some arcade game kind of thing? decides to leave home, embarking on an extensive search to locate the treasure. There are many factions interested in this bat, and the galactic baseballer must endure many challenges and defeat many foes in order to progress on. It seems that in every battle wave, the trail the galactic baseballer needs to defeat as many enemies as possible, gain experience, and level up their team. I see what she tried to, she tried to do there. After the team levels up, they can choose one of three random weapons or accessories. The okay. weapons help our baseballer defeat enemies, while the accessories grant buffs to weapons or characters. Okay. Every weapon has a corresponding resonant accessory. My advice is to focus on leveling up weapons first. After achieving max level with the weapon and if in possession of its resonant accessory, the weapon can be leveled up to a legendary weapon, which greatly increases the galactic Even the, 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 the footage is using Complete the Nihility Hyper Carry team, man. What the hell? Skills, and accumulate cosmic reputation, which can be exchanged for rewards. <sighs> The little raccoons in this event are so cute, and each planet has its unique charm. Just looking at them makes me want to join in the fun. How about our three guests make a prediction? Will the galactic baseballer get their hands on the ultimate baseball bat? <laughs> I think the name galactic baseballer might be a giveaway. <laughs> Moving on. Our next, next event is called all about boot hill oh what and how exactly will everything be showcased okay. in this segment we've adopted a character profile approach you won't see boot hill but you'll hear all about his legendary exploits well, rumor has it that boot hill has recently been involved in some major heists okay. with many entities including the space station suffering losses I hear the IPC and others are planning to put a bounty on his head. With okay. so many assignments available, I'd say it's a great chance to make a profit. When C. Chi from the space station thinks the Trailblazers oh, are okay. well suited to the job and wants to recommend them to the IPC. The Trailblazers are joining the IPC? Uh, not exactly. More like a get-rich-quick scheme with friends. Okay. During the event. The Trailblazers will have to complete various different assignments and gather more information on oh. in exchange for assignment rewards. This assignment oh, thing event again. Thank you, Mr. Wen Shi Chi. I'm profiting from assignments is one thing, but no underhanded tactics. Understood. <laughs> of course. Besides the fun events, version 2.2 presumably also has the nail biting. Of the course. Hell. Dead warp chicken! Of course! <laughs> Trailblazers, don't forget to of like course. and play your Let's also not forget that version 2.2 will be introducing Shape of Duty Stagnant Shadow. Successfully completing this challenge will grant you the character essential materials, IPC work permit for Robin and Boot Hill. Oh, well, given the relationship because between the both family, physical. Boot Hill, and the Makes IPC, sense. I must say this ascension material because they're both physical. is very specific. No so, makes sense. Sunset. Then Boot Hill, pistol in hand, charged into the IPC. Bang, bang, bang! 65 gunshots later, he was back out again with 65 work permits. 
All for his own personal enhancement. The IPC work permit is only used by senior employees. Mr. Albert, do you have one? You're a senior employee? Me? Well, I... Senior is a big word, but I suppose I, uh... <laughs> All right, we get it. Now, Calyx Butter the Hunt will also be available in version 2.2. Oh, new Calyx. This one's the V4 Boot Hill. The double events Planar Fissure and Garden of Plenty are also back. Let's go! Challenging the simulated universe and Let's freaking go! Set amount of double reward. Oh! Sure Got it on plenty as well. Alright, interesting. Up next is the third redemption code. Third redemption code. Alright. I wonder what's um what's next for what they will have in the the last part of the whatchamacallit? The, the special program if not i'm gonna call it at that though because so far the stuff that really got really caught my attention are the main quest <laughs> and to topaz is a uh, me fully for topaz like oh what it had to be right before fireflies banner Damn you, Hongazarel! Damn you! Anyhow. Yeah. I'm pulling for Topaz. And then hopefully I'll get to pull for Firefly once she, once she drops in um, version 2.3. Welcome All right. back, folks. Let's get into a few system optimizations. Oh, Shall system we? optimization. Up, a new function that shows battle records has been added to the Trailblazer profile page. Meanwhile, on the friendless interface, you mm -hmm. can now see the real-time status of your friends and find out what they're currently up to. For okay. example, whether they're currently in the simulated universe, the Forgotten Hall, etc. That's right. And in the Forgotten Hall and Pure Fiction, you can now see your friends' lineups as well as display your own lineups to your friends. Naturally, this is an optional function that okay. can be turned on or off at will. Good. Version 2.2 will also bring in an improved team oh, setup. Oh, thank goodness. It's easier for Trailblazers. Yeah, this is way much more easier to. Setups. There's also a new feature to tag characters, which ensures that tag characters are pinned at the top of the character bar. Nice. Uh, trailblazers will be able to prioritize their most frequently used and favorite characters. All time is money. That should make going into battle all the more convenient. Expect continuous improvements to the team setup function in future versions. Stay tuned, Trailblazers! <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the digital version of the Ultimate Trailblazers Guide to Pentacony is officially out! Okay. The book includes behind the scenes stories of the Star Wars oh. team creating Pentacony, exclusive interviews with the animated shorts team. So, this is something like an art book or from, from some shorts, kind. A flash and icor of two dragons. Trailblazers can Eat. view it on the official website or download the PDF version. Don't miss out. So oh, free? Nice. With so much awesome well, that's kind of nice. Is it really all for free? You better believe it. <laughs> In that case, I'll be taking this treasured memory with me. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of the version 2.2, then Wake to Weep special program. All right. Whew. Man, I can't wait to see the Charmony Festival. Here's hoping that 2.2 story provides Trailblazers with an unforgettable experience. I hope that when the truth comes to light, the gentle sun will shine upon all of Panacone. Here's wishing another very happy birthday to the Astral Express. All right, today's I'm the August birthday as well. Let's encounter. not forget that. I'd like to say a big thanks to our three guests. Oh, and a final reminder to all Trailblazers: don't forget to log in and claim your 1600 stellar jades and 10 fuels from your mailbox. Oh, it's today. And that is well and truly a wrap. See you in the next one. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. I believe that's the end, unless they have something else to show up. Wait. Huh? Wait, I. Oh, right!
<clears throat> I have one final announcement to make. Okay. Panacone's dream abduction case is soon to hit the screens. Sparkle Star Rail Jazz Knife is coming up on the Hoyo Fair channel following this program. Ladies and gentlemen, run for your lives. Wait, what? What? Oh. It's loading. Whatever. I believe that's the end of the special program. So, long story short, right? I will definitely check out the main story quest once, it, once version 2.2 drops. And I will definitely will be pulling for Topaz. We'll see how the situation goes first. Once I'm done pulling for Topaz, then I'll try, try to save up as many uh, remote, I'm not sorry, as many stages as possible because I really, really want to pull for Firefly, man. I really do. And I think that's pretty much my reaction to the special program for Honkai Star Rail um, version 2.2 and with that I'm gonna call it at that. <laughs>